The Tabka Dam, also known as the Euphrates Dam, is a significant piece of infrastructure located on the Euphrates River in Syria. Completed in 1973, it was constructed during a period of ambitious development in the region, aimed at harnessing the river's potential for irrigation, hydroelectric power, and flood control. This video explores the dam's history, construction, significance, socioeconomic impact, and the challenges it faces today. The construction of the Tabka Dam was part of a broader strategy by the Syrian government to modernize its agricultural sector and improve energy production. The project was initiated in the 1960s, with assistance from the Soviet Union, reflecting the geopolitical alliances of the time. The dam was built in a region that has been historically significant due to its proximity to ancient civilizations, including the Sumerians and Akkadians. The dam's construction involved the relocation of local communities and significant alterations to the landscape. The resulting reservoir, Lake Assad, is one of the largest artificial lakes in the Middle East, covering an area of approximately 1,000 square kilometers and holding around 14 billion cubic meters of water. The Tabka Dam is an embankment dam, primarily made of earth and rock, standing about 60 meters tall and 4,000 meters long. It was designed to hold back the Euphrates River, creating a reservoir that not only serves as a water supply but also plays a crucial role in electricity generation. The dam's hydroelectric power station has an installed capacity of 880 megawatts, making it one of the largest in Syria. The power generated has been instrumental in supporting the country's growing energy needs, particularly during the late 20th century when industrialization efforts were ramping you. One of the most significant impacts of the Tabka Dam has been on agriculture in Syria. The dam's reservoir provides irrigation to millions of hectares of farmland in the surrounding areas. This has allowed for the cultivation of various crops, including wheat, barley, and cotton, helping to boost local economies and ensure food security. While the dam has brought numerous benefits, it has also led to the displacement of thousands of people. The construction of the dam required the flooding of large areas of land, leading to the relocation of communities and the loss of ancestral lands. These social and cultural impacts have been significant, creating tensions within displaced populations and altering the demographic landscape of the region. The Tabka Dam has faced numerous challenges in recent decades, particularly due to the ongoing civil conflict in Syria that began in 2011. The dam has been a strategic asset in the conflict, leading to military confrontations and power struggles over control of the region. The conflict surrounding the Tabka Dam has resulted in a humanitarian crisis, with many people displaced and in need of assistance. The dam's region has seen an influx of refugees and internally displaced persons, putting additional pressure on local resources and infrastructure. Access to electricity and clean water has become increasingly inconsistent, exacerbating the challenges faced by local populations. The strategic importance of the Tabka Dam has drawn international attention, particularly concerning water rights and regional stability. The Euphrates River is shared by several countries, including Turkey and Iraq, and the dam's management has implications for transboundary water relations. The Tabka Dam stands as a testament to human ingenuity and ambition in the face of natural challenges. Its construction marked a significant development in Syria's history, transforming agriculture and energy production in the region.